Hi there, friends. Werner here. Thanks for joining me for another one of my knife reviews. Viper. What? Not a Chinese company? Yes. First time um, on my channel. We've got uh, we've got something else, and uh, Italian uh, knife production company Viper. And today specifically, we're talking about uh, the Fortis over here. Uh, now, the Fortis is one of a successful series of collaborations uh, between Viper Knives and Jasper Vox Nijs. Uh, he's a Danish designer. I'm not sure how to pronounce that surname. Uh, but yeah, this design differs from the Odino and Kayomi, two previous ones uh, that he's done with, uh, with Viper. Uh, and it shines, this one definitely shines with the extremely small uh, thickness of the, uh, of the handles. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that to me makes for a very comfortable EDC uh, while still being very tough and uh, tactical, extremely ergonomic. Uh, so yes, it's large yet um, extremely thin. Uh, so yeah, before I carry on, may I please ask that uh, you have a look at the bottom right. Little button says subscribe. Please hit that. Please hit like if you would like to see more reviews coming out of uh, Cape Town, uh, South Africa. I would really appreciate that. So, yes, what we're going to do, we're going to do some size comparisons. We're going to do some specifications. We're going to talk about the blade, the pivot, what makes it tick. We're going to talk about the handle, the handle scales, uh, pocket clip, ergonomics, action and then we'll do some final impressions right as always we're going to go straight to the uh spyderco paramilitary 2 and uh, we can see here a very very similar footprint uh in this way um but um yeah just a little bit longer uh, now we do know that the uh, the pm2 is a large full-size knife uh that to me would also make the viper um a larger knife um, going a bit smaller, uh, we've got uh, the Delica 4, and we can see there that um, it dwarfs it out uh, quite a bit. Um, another large knife, uh, this is the uh, the Wii 620, and the B to be precise, with the purple anodized titanium handles. And we do know that that is a large knife, uh, and we can also see that, uh, with the Viper being ever so slightly shorter. Uh, last one, I'm going to do a uh, a Kaiser. This is the, this is the Theta uh, collaboration between Theta or between Kaiser and uh, uh, Elijah Isham, uh, one of my favourites. Uh, and we do know that this is a medium-sized knife. Uh, so yes, we can see that. So yeah, the Viper to me would definitely be a largest knife. <coughs> Excuse me. Specifications: overall length. We've got 8.25 inches. We have a blade length of 3.5 inches and a blade thickness of 0 0.15. Let's compare that to the uh, PM2. And we can see they're very, very similar blade stock that's been used. Uh, let's do a quick millimeter measurement. Uh, and we can see here that it's sitting on 4.0. Uh, that's, that's just over 4 millimeters. Um, now, four millimeters to me, uh, coupled with a very high flat grind, I would make this guy fairly thin behind the edge. Uh, we do have an overall weight of 3.99 ounces, almost exactly four ounces. And to me, uh, that is a great uh, weight uh, for your pocket. So, yes, very, very EDC, edc uh knife this. Um, so yes, let's uh, let's let's dive right in. Let's talk about let's let's, let's break it down. First of all, let's go into the blade. Um, now we have got premium materials used here. Uh, we have got M390. Now M390 we know uh, offers high durability and a very high edge retention, um, and is definitely one of your top steels. Um, so yes, absolutely stunning stuff there. Uh, we've got a, a, a forward finger choil uh, that also acts as a uh, as a sharpening choil, a recasa. And this is a very basic, normal, flat uh, blade shape. 
uh, no hint or anything of a of a recurve so straight all the way through to quite a deep belly um, up front uh, that will make this guy a very very good slicer um, now very interesting if we if we look at, at how the light plays on this top switch uh, if we're holding it like this uh, we can we can see there that it almost looks like a clip point uh, but if we bring it down we can see that in fact not it is a drop point uh, so yes I do like the way that they've done that uh, just for a little bit of a play of light um, and it just gives that blade a little bit more of a diversity uh, we've got a satin uh, uh, finish um, and we can see that uh, we've got quite a nice uh, uh, symmetrical uh, thumb hole or eye hole uh, that you can use uh, for another way of deploying the guy as opposed to using the flipper tab uh, but we're going to get to that a little bit later when we're talking about deployment uh, so yes very 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 high tall flat grind a little bit of, of, of flats happening here um, no contrast uh, so they've both been satined um, and uh, yeah a little bit billboardy happening over here uh, with the uh, the viper and the the, the fortis the name of this guy um, but i think it's tastefully done um, I actually do like it. It doesn't put me off whatsoever. Um, and on the back we can see Vox. And uh, that's the, the Danish designer Jasper Vox Nice's, uh, his, his, his branding or logo. Uh, and we can see their M390. Uh, very proudly pronounced as I think uh, this top steel should. Uh, moving along the back, the spine. Uh, we can see here quite, quite a lot of meat uh, behind the point. Uh, when it comes through it tapers uh, all the way to the back of the spine and we can see here that this guy has been rounded uh, now that we obviously call a crown spine I um, mean to me that represents um, a very comfortable uh, uh, way of, of holding it when you're doing a pinch grip um, even if you are choking up on the guy uh, to kind of uh, sway the knife from left to right uh, very very comfortable uh, so yes, I really do enjoy that very much. Um, no jumping um, on the spine. Um, and we can see uh, going back that it's an open back to a hollow uh, construction for easy cleaning and maintenance. Um, so yes, and obviously going through to a little back space that we're going to get there now. Uh, the pivot, very, very basic. Uh, not, not too... Uh, not a lot of design going on there I don't think that um, it detracts uh, from this knife at all uh, I do enjoy its uh, its simplicity uh, obviously we're going to use a Torx bit uh, to get in there and on the inside we've got thrust ball bearings uh, which makes this guy smooth as butter uh, very very smooth action opening and closing this guy uh, so yes thanks to those ball bearings um, it's got a ceramic ball detent um, and uh, yes, I think that D10 strength is just perfectly dialed in. Uh, we're going to see it come out of there uh, just now when we're going to be talking about the action. Uh, we've obviously got a stainless steel insert, um, and that prevents blade stick when you've got titanium on steel. So now you've got steel on steel. Uh, so yeah, so that's the, the use of that. And also it acts as an over-travel stopper as well. Uh, moving back, we can see here that there is quite a nice cutout. Um, in the uh, the carbon fiber um, and that's for easy pass through uh, of your thumb so you can disengage that lock uh, that lock is currently sitting on about 40 45 percent and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that uh, let's look at centering spot on absolutely perfect uh, blade play no blade play no lock rock this guy's locked up like a vault uh, moving back, we can see that um, these cutouts for the uh, the tension relieving on this lock bar uh, is down the inside as opposed to the outside. Um, as so many other knives, here's here's on the outside on the on the on the Wii six twenty B here. Uh, so yes, I just like that they they did something different, um, and that's obviously to uh, relieve tension so that you can bend uh, the lock bar this way, uh, which will then give you your lock up. Um, let's talk about this uh, uh, carbon fiber uh, presentation side. Um, now, I do love the way that it plays with the light. Uh, just have a look at that. Um, they've done very well to keep uh, the, 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 the design and the patterns uh, symmetrical. 
Um, and I just love the way that that looks. It's got great feel. Um, it's 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 slightly slippery, but um, yeah, I've, I, I've I have felt slipperier, if that's even a word. But um, yes, got enough traction on there. Um, nice cutouts. Now this to me represents a very ergonomical knife. Even before holding it in my hand, I can see that that guy is going to be is going to be melting into my hand. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, of the PM2, uh, the same kind of the same kind of waves um, that 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 both of them uses. Um, so yes, without even holding it, I know it's gonna it's gonna just be it's gonna be stellar. Uh, but yeah, beautiful uh, machining done, uh, CNC machining uh, with the milling. Uh, this is a nice facet over here at the back, and just a nice little extra little dimple. Um, it doesn't really offer a function, but I just think it's a nice level of uh, of give a damn. Uh, we got three body screws. Now that the, the, those guys would be to hold uh, the blue anodized uh, uh, backspacer uh, that also acts as your uh, as your lanyard hole. Um, I think it fits into the design um, of the butt very nicely. Uh, you got nice lines, uh, so I don't think that that lanyard hole detracts anything from the knife uh, whatsoever. Uh, so yes, very very nicely done, uh, chamfering done all the sharp edges, um, on all the, the the areas that's that's normally neglected and overlooked, uh, they've chamfered everything very nicely. So very very nice contoured, um, and uh, yeah, no hot spots to talk about. Um, so that's great. Uh, talking about um, the pocket clip, obviously a mold special mold pocket clip. Um, and uh, this guy's got ex enormous amount of tension on it, uh, so that's going to go in your pocket and stay there, and not only by uh, by 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 friction, um, uh, it's it's going to it's going to really grip onto your pants. Um, and uh, yeah, we can see design elements coming through. There was in the front, coming through on the back. There's that dimple, uh, the same milling work down here on the back as well. Um, and uh, yeah, this little facet over here at the top uh, comes through. On the back on the titanium as well and the titanium has been has been stonewashed um, now I like that very much it, uh, it it hides scratches and buff marks uh, very nicely at the moment it's right hand tip up carry um, and uh, lefties you're unfortunately out of luck right let's talk about ergonomics let's see how this guy fits so in your standard hold um, very very comfortable and I'm really bearing down on this guy and uh, I'm not feeling any hot spots uh, whatsoever. Uh, we can see at the back of my hand, uh, the backspacer, I'm making a bit of, a, of an indentation there in, my, in, my, in, the, in the palm of my hand. Um, but uh, it's, it's not uncomfortable. Like I said, I'm bearing down on this guy. Um, no hot spots whatsoever from the pocket clip, so that's great. Uh, choking up on the guy using the, uh, the, the front finger choil. Very, very comfortable choking up on it. Um, and using this crown spine, uh, very, very comfortable to hold. And like I said earlier, as you can twist this guy about. And uh, yeah, I do like that design element very much. Um, you kind of t almost touching the, uh, the the ricasa or the 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 the, the, the sharpening choil. So just be careful of that. But um, yeah, if done right, this is a very, very comfortable grip. Um, deployment. Now we can see here that um, that it has a flipper tab, so it's it's a it's, a, it's obviously a flipper. Um, and before I show you um, the, how, how it deploys, let me talk about what this 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 flipper tab also functions as 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 a as a protection uh, for for your for your front finger. Uh, let's say you're doing some severe piercing work, um, and your front finger could perhaps slip out and onto the cutting surface. Uh, so that that flipper tab obviously helps that uh, stops your finger uh, from going onto the cutting surface so that's just something i just wanted to mention uh flipper tab not too proud uh, not too short i think it's um it's just right uh, it's got some nice quite severe uh, uh jumping uh quite quite uh, aggressive um and that would then make for a you know, non-slipping um uh, on the flipper tab it doesn't slip to me once uh so yes i do like that very much you can go both ways. You can go for a uh, light switch, and uh, just look at the way it comes out of there. Um, that's that detent ball. 
uh, makes just the right amount of of, of, of friction um, on the on the detent hole, and really shoots out of there like a rocket. Uh, great sound, um, solid thud as it comes out of there. Um, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, we can also go for a very comfortable push button, um, and uh, yeah, I think this detent has been dialed in just right. Uh, not too hard, not too soft. Great stuff. Um, let's use uh, the the thumb hole or the uh, the eye cutout. Uh, we can go for a uh, for a slow roll, uh, or we can go for a spidey flick. Uh, now this guy is very very addictive because you got so many different ways of deploying the guy, um, and uh, yeah, oh, just love it. Absolute tool to play with. It's solid. Built like a tank, it's thin like I said, uh, but it's still large, it's still chunky, uh, great gentlemanly knife, um, uh, it's EDCable, it's tactical, it, it's really got so much going for it. Um, I really, really do enjoy this knife very, very much. Uh, but friends, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I, I've obviously missed out on a couple of things and... Uh, uh, if, 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 if you think so, if you'd like to comment on something, please leave a comment below. Uh, please hit subscribe, please hit like. I would really appreciate that. Um, but yes, if you'd like to see some more videos uh, coming out, please uh, keep an eye out for this channel. And uh, have yourselves an absolutely beautiful day. Cheers.